Hi, in this assignment, we're going to call assignment seven. We are going to demonstrate the use of the interface idea in object-oriented programming. So to get started, I'm going to go to my file menu in Eclipse and create a new Java project, and we'll call it assignment seven. First thing I'm going to do in assignment seven is create a main program class. So now I'm going to create an interface called Person Interface. If I choose right click on Assignment 7 and instead of choosing Class as normal, I'm choosing Interface. And this is going to be called Person Interface. And let's click Finish. Person Interface is just like a class, except it's called an interface. So remember, an interface is like a blueprint. So if I tell my computer program that uh, a person is going to have to walk and run and is running I just put the names of their functions here so the interface now tells the uh, program that we're going to have three different methods in every person however we don't code them here this is just the interface next it's time to create a person and I'm going to now choose something from the interfaces choices here I'm going to choose add and I'm going to search for person and there it is person interface comes up and click OK and choose finish now automatically it created these methods for me because they were taken from this line here implements person interface so that's very nice it's automatic let me show you another way that we could have done this I'm going to delete all this and delete the person interface right there so now we're just back to a regular old class if I were to put in here the word implements and then person interface, I'm going to have a compiler error. And now I have the word uh, add Im unimplemented methods and I get back to the same results. So there's more than one way to create a implementation of an interface. Now let's also add some properties that we would have in a normal person class. I'm going to put the getters and setters in a constructor together. Once these methods are all put together, let's come down and let's create what a walk method does for a person. So the first two methods are pretty simple. They choose run and walk and we print is uh, what they're doing. Now for this third option here called is running, I would like to have a property of the person set. So let's go back up to properties here and we'll call this thing a Boolean. And so now this will be a, a true or false statement. So down here in each of these statements, I'm going to set the word running to be either false or true. So if he is walking, he is not running. And if he is running, then he is set that to true. Now let's get the property of is running. So I will just put in return running. Now as I review through my code, I notice I spelled person wrong. How about that? So let's go and do some refactoring. I can right click on the class title, refactor and choose rename. And so instead of perons, let's try person and let's see what that does. And it should change all of the interface and it should change everything where I've mentioned the word person. That'll work better. Okay, let's go back into our main program. I'm going to create a new person. Okay, so I got a new guy called Nobody Special and I'm going to make him run and walk and print the results. Okay, so I'm going to copy and paste and print out the results for running after he is set to walk and also as he is set to run. And as you can see down the in the results, it says Joe is walking now, Joe is running now, and the true and false are set correctly.